हेलो बच्चास वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दी एफ एन फिजिक्स दी एफ एन फिजिक्स नाच फॉर फन नाउ हियर इज़ अ क्वेश्चन टेकन फ्रॉम जीरो सिक्स टू फाइव ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन पेपर टू वेरियंट थ्री एंड द क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ अ फोर्स रीडिंग ऑफ द क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ऑल अ पेयर ऑफ कटर इज यूज टू कट द रोप यू कैन सी द कटर ऑन द हैंडल यू विल एक्जर्ट सम फोर्स एफ विच विल प्रोड्यूस सम मोमेंट and the same moment will be produced at the blades the condition is you need to make sure that the cutting force is maximum at the blades so how will you go ahead now remember at the input or at the handle i need to apply a constant force that value could be 5 newton 10 newton doesn't matter but it remains the same and i've got two places to apply the force either at r or at s so to understand which value will produce a largest moment let's look at the formula of moment so moment is force into the perpendicular distance from the fixed point now this s remains constant that could be any value which you are exerting the only variable is the distance so for a larger moment my distance has to be large which means i will exert the force at point s so my options a and c are out i am only left with option b and d now once you have exerted the force the same moment is reproduced at the blades so at the output for blades again my formula for moment is force into perpendicular distance now this moment is the same as that of the input moment or the moment at the handle which means now my only variable are f and d and i know f and d are inversely proportional which means for a larger force the distance has to be less which means you will keep the rope at q so exerting the force at s and keeping the rope at q will produce the largest cutting force I hope this question was clear to you all. Thank you.